Good afternoon, everyone. This is Crystal with Blessings at Home. Um, today, I'm going to be talking to you about our math curriculum. Um, I am trying to address some questions that people have sent me um, regarding um, the schoolroom or curriculum or routine or whatever. Um, so today um, begins um, our math curriculum. So I'm starting with math because this has been the one thing that has been a stable in our homeschooling um, from the very, very beginning when um, I knew two other people my age that were homeschooling and we started this journey. And both at the time were using a program called Matthew C. And both at the time were only homeschooling boys. Um, so we uh, jumped in and gave it a try. And now we have been through six. We're on their ninth level, I think. Um, so we have been through their primer and are in Algebra 1 now. And I cannot say enough things about this math curriculum. Um, there are plenty of people out there that have gone into more depth reviews. Um, I know Confessions of a Homeschooler has a really good review of their program. Um, but I'm just going to tell you kind of um, a few reasons why we love it. Um, so first of all, if you're not familiar, Matthew C. is a mastery-based program. Um, that means they focus on one subject at a time. For example, in first grade for their alpha, they're doing single digit addition and subtraction, and they master that. And then in second grade, they move into multi-digit addition and subtraction, um, as well as um, adding and subtracting um, money and, and, and everything like that, and counting money and skip counting money. Um, so this year, that's what our uh, Benjamin and Matthew are doing. They are in Matthew C. Beta, and um, again, that's the multi-digit addition and subtraction. So they're learning um, borrowing and carrying over and regrouping, as Matthew C. would call it, and things like that. Um, so, and then after after that level is Gamma, which focuses on um, multiplication. So all the way from very beginning to zero times three, all the way up to 4,280 times 1,760, all the way up. Um, so they are mastering that uh, multiplication. And then the next level is division. And then from that, they move into fractions. And that's what um, our girls, Rebecca and Hannah, are doing. Next is fraction um, epsilon. So they learn um, adding subtractions, dividing subtractions, multiplying subtractions, uh, reducing fractions, improper fractions, um, let's see, fractions and from and the end they're working on making fraction and, bleh, fractions into decimals and percentages, which then leads into the next book, um, Zeta, which is all about decimals and percentages. And then after Zeta is pre-algebra, and then after pre-algebra, of course, is algebra one, and then so on and so forth. Um, so. I have children that hate school and I mean just has never really enjoyed learning I'd rather do anything but be doing schoolwork. I have a child with a learning disability that is on the autistic spectrum. I have um, boys. I have a daughter that gets things um, very quickly um, and we have been able to make this program work all across the board with all of our children. Um, we have paused about half about third grade. I kind of got worried because I started doing what so many of us homeschoolers do is we look around what other people are doing and we go, ah, maybe I should be doing that. Or, oh my goodness, my sixth grader or my fourth grader or whatever grader isn't doing what her fourth grader is doing. So maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe they're going to miss out on something. And what I have learned is um, they, they might learn it in a different order, but by the time they reach that high school level, by the time they finish up middle school, your children are going to be right where everyone else's kids are. Um, I think um, maybe in a little less frustrated way um, because I, I, I like that we don't have to introduce something brand new every single day. Um, so we have been able to make it work. Um, we did, again, we did pause. I tried something else for about four months and just immediately knew that it was the wrong decision and we have gone back to Matthew C and we stuck with it ever since. Some Matthew C users do supplement with other programs and I have not felt the need to do that. Uh, we do have little workbooks and things that we um, keep my second graders keep in the drawer over here or um, we have like a speed drill test um, but 
for for my girls just to keep that but um i really don't feel that we have to supplement now sometimes they need review on things and that's another great thing about matthew c is on their website matthewc.com they have free online drills and um, free worksheets that we can print out so if they're struggling with remembering a concept um, I can just go to their website and um, print those out and no problem at all. Um, so the way it works is usually on Mondays they will watch a video and the video will introduce a new concept. Um, so like my girls this week they are dividing fractions. So at the very beginning of the week they sat down they watched Mr. Demi on the, on the DVD and he introduced them on the concept of how to divide fractions. And so Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, that's all that they're doing. Every single problem on Monday, Tuesday, or every single problem on the first three lessons are only dividing fractions. And then um, the rest of the week is, is a mixture of um, dividing fractions plus a review from previous concepts. And it might be a concept that they learned earlier this year, or it could be a concept that they learned um, last year. And I don't have... I don't have a student book with me, um, but a lot of times to help them remember and go, oh, this is a review um, from a previous book. Matthew C. puts it into a gray box, and it gives them, you know, it gives them a little reminder of here's an example of the way we work out this problem. And remember, this is how we do X, Y, and Z, and this is why. So it gives them a little bit of a refresher course, and then throws those review problems in. Um, typically, um, they'll see those again throughout the week. I hope that makes sense. Um, the way that we use math, the way that our, we schedule out Matthew C, it has lessons A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. G lessons are common core aligned. However, the DVDs have never changed since the very, very beginning. Since the, the DVDs, I'm, I'm under the impression that the DVDs are the same. So when Common Core came out, nothing changed. They just threw these G, G lessons in for those states that are required by law to be Common Core aligned. Um, so we, my kids can do them. I don't make them do the G lessons. Um, that's just up to them. Some of them are fun and they like to do them. Um, but for the most part, we will do um, video lesson A. And then on the second day, they do lessons B and C. And then they do D and E. And then, um, and then we have F, and then the next day is a test day. Um, sometimes um, they don't need to do a whole week's worth. Like, um, sorry, um, like adding money this week, the, the second graders were adding money, and they were like, well, this is easy, we got it. So they didn't really need to do all the lessons. Um, they were ready for the test, and so we took it, made a nice, easy week for them. Um, sometimes if we, I'm in a, rush or I feel like we're behind and we get to a lesson like that where they've got it I'll just introduce the concept test them on it they got it good we'll go on and start the next um, the next week's worth of work um, so we have used a lot of different curriculums in different areas of our homeschooling and different subjects um, but with math that is one thing that we have never uh, veered from with the exception of me losing my mind a couple years ago when I was really worried that uh, I just I wasn't worried I was comparing myself to others and we do that a lot as homeschoolers but um, we shouldn't so um, I've said it before my kids are not your kids and so they don't have to be learning the same exact thing and that's okay um, so that is it for our math lesson uh, our math curriculum that we are using this year and will continue to be using for years in the future uh, so if you have any specific questions about the curriculum that I can answer, just let me know. Or you can always go to their website, www.matthewc.com. Um, and they are um, a fantastic company. And we've um, spoken with Mr. Demi um, in person before, and he is um, always got a smile on his face and really does love math and really does love the students and always um, ready to help out in any way that he can. So that's it. That's our math curriculum, and uh, I'll see you next time in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.